Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my friends, from whatever place in this continent that you're listening to the Life of Signatures podcast. It's a daily show where we talk about purpose, productivity, and resilience. I'm so excited even as we continue talking about this idea of the road less traveled and giving birth to ourselves. There is a guy who said there are two important days in this world, the day we were born and the day we discover why. But I added another day. There's a day when we give birth to ourselves. And so today we are continuing to talk about the idea of daring. We've been saying that if you're going to go on the road, let's travel number one. You've got to do the impossible, not, not the impossible. You've got to do the uncomfortable number two. You've got to do the unconventional. And number three, you've got to go on a dare. So we've been camping around on the dare for a minute. Let us continue talking about the dare in this episode today. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. now and then you are introduced to something new that is out of the ordinary and it requires for you to change your mentality to change your mindset to change your expectations it requires of you to get out of the comfort zone and so on and so forth and for the most part we do not want to get out of the comfort zone but we realize later on when we get out of the comfort zone it was actually beneficial people who have gone through a lot of crisis a lot of suffering a lot of setbacks they always tell you this they always say i do not ever want to go through that thing again but i will never trade for anything the lessons that i learned it was gold it was precious. I learned great things from that crisis. What am I communicating? I'm communicating that in those moments that we do not want to go through, there is always a silver lining. There's always something nice, something out of it. But we are saying, uh, generally speaking, that if we're going to go on the road less traveled, one of those things that we're going to go to is to dare. If we're going to give back to ourselves, one of those things that we're going to do is to dare far much better it is to dare mighty things to win glorious triumphs even though checkered by failure than to take rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy nor suffer much because they live in the great twilight that neither knows victory nor defeat daring has very many benefits and one of the things was talked about yesterday i mean the previous day is that it it helps to kill self-doubt please go back three episodes back and listen to that it was absolutely powerful it helps you to conquer self-doubt secondly we talked about this yesterday we talked about this yesterday it introduces you to who you really are yesterday was something else it introduces you to who you are you don't know who you are until you dare we are all hidden we are all unknown, even to ourselves. Until we go on the extraordinary, until we go on a dare, we don't know who we are. Today, of course, we're going to talk about the third thing that is a benefit to us when we go on a dare. It stretches your limits. Ay, 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 ay. We've been talking about growth. We've been talking about giving birth to ourselves. 
daring helps us in this especially if it is sustained because daring takes us to our limits our very limits and i think this these uh, motivational speakers especially who have a background in uh, sports science and have a background in uh, physical fitness and all that stuff they say that i don't count my push-ups i only start counting when it starts paining because when it's paining that is when it counts see daring has its benefits uh, you've got to look at it from this angle that daring is outside of the ordinary it is outside of the normal it is not a dare that you go on daily but let me tell you there are some people in this world who are daily on a dare like some guys in syria where i mean wars are going on some guys in gaza where wars are going on every single day living itself is just a dare some guys in in china maybe the underground church every single day is a dare some of us we take life so much for granted i mean we take the breath that we breathe the peace that we have so much for granted the so called democratic space we take it so much for granted there are some other people the very things that we are enjoying and even tramping upon and trashing i was eating lunch at an, an organization some time back uh, this lunch is offered for free by this organization but the people i was eating with or sharing this lunch with were complaining complaining about the food we take so much for granted because it's been given to us when it's not there that's when we know how important it is well, i don't know how i ended up there but the point i am making is it a dare stretches us to our limits it stretches us to our limits and when our limits are stretched that's where growth occurs growth doesn't occur in the normal ordinary average nap it occurs in the extraordinary it occurs in the stretches of our dare they are normally tolding telling us that <laughs> tolding they are always telling us that your mind cannot go back to its original state once it's been stretched and the mind or the brain is the most interesting thing by the way the most interesting in fact one of the biggest enemies of a dare is your brain <laughs> and that guy is interesting he said don't ever dare do that don't you ever dare don't you ever dare jump in that swimming pool don't you dare and it holds you i mean it scares you but then you do it <laughs> and guess what the brain says it adjusts its expectations say oh okay you can do this and now when you want to jump into the uh, swimming pool again it doesn't shut you up kind of might even in- inspire you because the brain ch- checks what you got out there it says if you enjoyed it hey why don't you go and do it again i mean if 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 it cost you to be inspired cost you to be motivated why don't you go and do it again the brain starts psyching you up yeah 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 let's do it it's the same guy that say don't you dare you know why the brain say don't you dare because it's new new territory never been conquered again never been ex- a minute never been conquered before never been ex- experienced before that's why i don't want to I, wa- i don't want you to go there i want you to be safe i want you to stay certain that's the brain telling you that stuff but when the brain has been exp- exposed to these limits i'm talking about you grow because the brain doesn't look it at it as if it's a threat anymore and that's where growth is found it's found in our stretched limits limits blockades it's uh, less brown yeah less brown in his uh, audiobook is it an audiobook or is it a talk a very uh, long talk about purpose he says the human beings are the ones with the most dubious reputation of not growing up to their full potential 
If you put the eucalyptus tree in the most conducive environment, it, it will grow to grow the tallest it can be. But the humans who are the ones who face these limitations, these blockades, I don't know why. Because maybe it's because we have our minds or something like that. We have minds and we have this brain I've been talking about. We don't. We have self-imposed blockades, family-imposed blockades, culture-imposed blockades and limits. We are kind of walking in some... We are bound and we don't even know we are bound by these imaginary virtual blockades. Some of them are spiritual, some of them are mental, some of them are cultural. We are bound by them, we are blocked by them, we are limited by them. They can be very, I mean, invasive and we don't even know. They can be in existence in your life for decades. You have no clue. You have been limited or you've limited yourself. You don't know. You have no idea what you've been capable. You can be capable of doing, but you couldn't do it for 10 years on end. You could have done it in 2011. It's now 2021 and you... That's when you're discovering I could have done it. Because you are all this time limited either by ignorance, by whatever, but you are having blockades. There are very many things that have hindered hindered us. And these are the very things, ladies and gentlemen. These are the very things that we need to break. These are the very things that are hindrance to our process of self-bathing. And when you dare, that's it. When you dare, when you dare to do mighty things, such as no one in your family has ever dared to do, you know what you've done? You've stretched your limits. And once you've stretched your limits, you've kind of uh, broken the chain, so to speak. And when your limits have been stretched, breaking out of your limits has happened and now growth is taking place. See, you will never discover who you really are until you go to where your limits are and even push them further. They said you can't do this. You go there and discover for yourself. You can't speak in public. <laughs> Go there and discover for yourself. Not once, not twice, but for a consistent amount of time. With a very small interval between your consistency. Not once in a year, but every other day, maybe every weekend. Dare to do it. This is stretching your limits. And when you're stretching your limits... These blockades, these hindrances, these limitations are broken off of your life. To see your limits, to see where you are limited, to see where you cannot, or where it is said you cannot, or where you think you cannot, to see it, to really see it, it has got to move from the theory. It has got to go into the practical. As in you've got to be there. You've got to dare to be able to see your limits. Isn't it interesting? That I cannot know my limits until I dare. The dare is the one that helps me to stretch my limits. To push my limits. And the interesting thing is again the mind, the brain comes in. The limits can just be a brain. When you dare, when you've you've gone to that particular limit by daring. This is where I cannot pass through, I cannot break this line and the moment you keep testing, testing that line testing that line, sooner or later you discover, oh wait a minute this line was just the other days, the most impossible thing for me to cross now it's kids play what happened? you stretched your limits by going to the line of daring the very end of yourself 
And now it's no longer the end of yourself. It's a new birth. It's a new beginning. It's a new day. It's now a foundation for the rest of your life. And now you want to dare again. That's the benefit of going on a dare. You will never know your limits until you go on a dare. Tomorrow, we talk more about this. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.